You know what's so frustrating about this show and a little bit painful? This isn't the love of war. You know, this is two kids who really like each other. It's It gets a lot darker than that. <laughs> it gets a lot darker than that sometimes in real life. This is the best war. It's like the most beautiful, wonderful, heartwarming war. Not always the case. It's often not the case. Is that a Japanese superstition? Kaguya wants to drop him off. Logic. <laughs> Why even the even the subtitles go nuts? I wonder who owns a car in this room. Gee, if only one of us had a driver. No, it's just a normal courtesy. It would probably be a lot more mundane. It would just be them sitting there. <laughs> you can pretend the driver's not there. Driver is sort of a non-entity. He's thinking about it too, right? He's wondering if she'll ask him if she has a driver. Right. He looks so pathetic too. <laughs> oh, maybe we could share a taxi. Let's split a taxi. Chika swoops in again with her personality freedom. The loose cannon. No, but he can't. That would be an imposition. It's totally on her. Honestly, if it's me, as someone who doesn't like to impose on others and is afraid to ask for stuff, I would just brave the typhoon. Because it's such an obvious thing for someone to have a car to offer in this situation that if they didn't, the absence of that would be a signal for me that it's something they didn't want. At the most, I would try to discern the level of convenience for them. Like, this point is on your way. Could you take me that far? You know, something like that. I wouldn't be like, can I take your private car? Out he goes into the typhoon. A man of culture, I see. Thinking on the toilet. Damn. 5,000 yeah, that's steep. That's right, I remember taxis in Japan were super expensive. They're super cheap in Korea. Oh, don't hide it from him. Oh, no, 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 no. This is... We're going on a, a dark road here. It's not worth it, Kaguya. Number one of seven tools. Seven sabotaging tools. Oh, no. Lines have been crossed this episode. You're messing with a man's work. Or you can just... I don't know. Just... Okay. <laughs> just do your thing, Kaguya. Meanwhile, on 24. Or 60, in this case. Oh. It's leaving the man hanging high and dry, but not dry for long. I feel like she's gonna feel really, really bad with the result of this. We have lost our way. Oh, I feel like that's a warning. That's foreshadowing. There's a lot of that. Yeah, there he is. And Blue Monday again. <laughs> if you're gonna drive your bike through a typhoon, you may as well do it screaming. Just for effect. There's a double loss. Catch a cold. <laughs> I need to buy a new battery too. Fujiwara Chika wants to visit her. This is a two parter. Extra cute. What kind of what who whoever has said that <laughs> like of all the fantasies can you wipe my back for for what <laughs> exactly have I been missing out on a crucial part of life back wiping let me know in the comments <laughs> um if back wiping is a thing for you I was thinking that yeah she is sick after all she's not a puppet in your scheme although then again this is Kaguya Love is War where everyone is a puppet in your scheme I am interested to see her house though because I feel like there's a lot to do with her family that we can get into in this show I'm out. Nope. She is the Joker. This I can play. But I didn't. It happened too quickly. Did she stacked the deck? Oh no, is she cheating at cards? Oh, Chica, why? Not you too. There's the devil side. <laughs> this wiping. What is this? <laughs> what is going on? Wipe my... Front for what? For what? I think I'm, I'm missing the big picture here. Let me know in the comments if wiping your front is a thing for you. <laughs> so I'll probably just be sleeping. 
Wipe my... Okay. <laughs> I was wondering where, where we were going to go from there. This is him just happening to see her. Because a lurker, huh? It's not on you, man. They're both ridiculous, but I don't... I don't feel like this one's on Miyuki. Is she taking a dive? She's taking a dive. She knows. Oh. Nope. She doesn't make mistakes. I take a card and match it. Do, do, do the whole thing, okay. Oh, if you get one right, you get to go again. Yeah, if you take half the energy you spend on thinking to the gutter, put it towards something productive, <laughs> nothing you can't accomplish. Oh my god, there's another pattern. Oh, it wasn't her helping him. It was her cheating again. Caught twice for the same offense. And she's still lost. Double loss. A lot of double losses in this episode. So I guess she does make mistakes after all. Or did she? Or did she? Hmm. Still not convinced she isn't the ultimate mastermind behind everything. We all know what those tabletop gamers are like. Oh, it's a three-parter. Bring her some medicine. <laughs> Very honest. Nothing happened. This is the first episode with like a running a running plot through the whole thing. Keep it simple. Keep it light. Okay. Regarding Shinomiya Kaguya Part 1. That's sort of a big deal. We were impressed by Taxi Rides on a minute ago. Kaguya's gonna flip out when she sees him. What does that say? Rely on no one if you must use them instead. Receive nothing from others if you must take it from them. Forgive no one if you must lament. Man, this is baked into her whole family. She's so different. What kind of cold does she have? I was thinking that. It's a weird setup. This is bizarre. This is really weird. What is she getting at? Why? What? What is this? What is going on? This is bizarre. This feels all sorts of wrong. I'm very uncomfortable. No, <laughs> it's not fireworks. Not half as wicked as the maid. This is actually really sweet, speaking of being vulnerable. Yeah, it's written on the walls. What? <laughs> For real? Is this happening? Is this a trick? It's a trick. It's a trick. It's a trick. It's a test. Probably leave and get let her get a rest. We actually slept there? This is huge. But she's gonna come too and be like, what the hell? <laughs> this is the most annoying sleeping sound. I think I prefer snoring. <laughs> Predicting the future, he and his wife are gonna have separate beds. <laughs> Yeah, we skipped a lot of steps there, no? Like a lot of steps. I'm sh I'm honestly shocked. <laughs> he barely tried. It barely made any effort. He just got into bed. What in the world? I guess there was no back rubbing or front rubbing after all. I'm trying to put my finger on why that made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I think that segment was caught between two lanes where there was potential for it to be really sweet with her sort of being vulnerable with her emotions and being kind of lost and not being this strong, cold, put together on the surface, powerful, sort of intimidating and terrifying figure and just being a high school girl, you know, with feelings and doubts and stuff and it being a vehicle for like sexual tension and innuendo. I think those things together end up clashing a little bit. I think what would have been more satisfying long term is if you could have had a moment where he was actually really nurturing for her and took care of her and like listened to her but then it quickly fell into a sexual thing in a scenario that didn't feel quite right if that makes sense and the maid ends up coming across in a very weird
weird sort of creepy light. What exactly was she hoping to gain there? The thing that's most interesting for me about this segment, even though it's really just a hint, is the writing on the wall for the family. I have a very strong feeling family is going to be a really big part of Kaguya's development. And it seems like there's a loneliness there for her and that she's sort of reflecting the values of this household in a way that's kind of unnatural for her and is stifling for her and is not what she wants. You know, watching her interact with other people, especially comparing her to someone like Chika, she's kind of wound up. And from this episode, it seems like those values are not her. You know, they're parts of a persona she's trying to project because that's her environment. Those are the values that have given her structure to allow her to succeed this far. And so I guess the journey for Kaguya is letting go of that. Her jealousy with Chika is really fascinating. I think that's one of the biggest points of tension for me in the show right now because they're really close friends, but there's a lot of resentment there, at least in one direction. In a way that, you know, to me actually feels quite quite real. And if I had to take a guess at what that is, part of it is the rivalry she feels about Miyuki. But I think deeper than that, it's a freedom that Chika has that she doesn't. You know, she's struggling with different personalities and with who she is and managing her, her natural personality and instincts and desires with a structure and image she feels she has to maintain, which is not her. You know, she's carrying a, a weight of something she's been given. So going into the household will mean going into Kaguya. And I think that'll be a really interesting experience. Thank you.